Sup y'all, Abe here. Thank you so much for tuning in. This video is all about measuring par in my 120 gallon SPS dominated display tank as well as in my 140 gallon propagation tank. Three big questions that need to be answered today are number one for the 120 which is being lit by a 10 year old ATI power module. It's so old they don't even make that power module anymore. The SPS seem to be doing fine in that tank, but you gotta wonder with a fixture that old, is it close to being on its deathbed? The second question is, in my 140 gallon propagation tank, which is being lit by a totally different set of lights. You have LEDs and halides, and it's very uneven the way I have it set up. I just gotta know what the par is in there so that when I clip frags from the 120 and stick them in the frag slash propagation tank, I know what par to stick them in. A third question that I have in the propagation tank is regarding a little section that I call tenuous row. It's just a part of the tank where it seems that all the Acropora tenuous seem to do well right there. That's where I have my Jason Fox home record frag which has doubled in size in two months. I'm just really curious to know what the par level is hitting that region. Big shout out to a local reefer named Marco who let me borrow his par meter. Thanks a lot brother, I'll get it back to you as soon as possible. Alright guys, let's get to measuring. All right guys, there it is. For the T5 tank, 10 years going strong. The ATI power module still producing strong, diffuse, even light. What you'd expect from a quality T5 fixture, I'm very pleased with the results. As far as the 140 gallon propagation tank, pretty much what you'd expect there, hot spots down the middle, very high par where you have fixtures overlapping. And as far as that tenuous row, as I like to call it, getting very high par, about 500 to 550. All right, guys, so I'm purposely staying away from giving you a narrow range of par values of where I think Acropora will be most happy. In my opinion, it actually should be a very broad range. Let me just give you three quick examples. Number one is my strawberry shortcake. I have a piece of that in both tanks. So one is under T5s and one is under halides and LEDs. In both tanks, by pure coincidence, it is most happy at about 200 par. On the flip side of that is a piece like my Paletta Pink Tip, which was originally under T5s, getting about 400 par. Not happy with its growth, so I moved it over to Halides, and come to find out today it's getting 650 par now and is blowing up like crazy. Maybe it's some other factor that's making it grow, but you can't ignore the fact that it's getting bombarded by 650 par. Let me give you a third example. It's my Oregon Tort. No matter where I put it, T5s, halides, LEDs, I've had it as low as 300 par all the way up to 600 par. It does well wherever. And that's why I think you just really don't know. It's better to have a broad range. That way you can find the sweet spot for that particular species if it's picky. 
Well, anyway, those are my thoughts, guys. I'm curious to know what are your thoughts about this whole subject. Please let me know in the comments below. And I've never said it out loud, but thank you so much for all your support. Support comes in the form of subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the video with other folks, or even visiting the website. I do really appreciate it. And thank you for making it this far, guys. Until next time, boom!